Sheldon, your mom made dinner. I'm not hungry. Oh, Leonard, don't trouble yourself. He's stubborn. He may stay in there till the rapture. <laughs> we so sure that's a bad thing? <laughs> I tell you, I love the boy to death, but he has been difficult since he fell out of me at the Kmart. Excuse me for being so bold, but I now see where Sheldon gets his smoldering good looks. Uh, honey, that ain't gonna work, but you keep trying. I made chicken. I hope that isn't one of the animals that you people think is magic. <laughs> you know, we have an Indian gentleman at our church, a Dr. Patel. It's a beautiful story. The Lord spoke to him and moved him to give us all 20% off on LASIK. You know, those that needed it. <laughs> that is a lovely story. Um, are we going to do anything about Sheldon? Oh, we will. You have to take your time with Sheldon. His father, God rest his soul, used to always say to me, Mary, you have to take your time with Sheldon. Sounds like a wise man. Oh, not so wise. He once tried to fight a bobcat for some licorice. <laughs> so everybody grab a plate and a pretty placemat that Shelly wove. Has Shelly ever freaked out like this before? Oh, all the time. I remember one summer when he was 13, he built a small nuclear reactor in the shed and told everybody he was going to provide free electricity for the whole town. Well, the only problem was he had no what you call fissionable materials. <laughs> anyway, when he went on the internets to get some, a man from the government came by and sat him down real gentle and told him it's against the law to have yellow cake uranium in a shed. <laughs> well, what happened? Well, poor boy had a fit. Locked himself in his room and built a sonic death ray. A death ray? Well, that's what he called it. Didn't even slow down the neighbor kids. <laughs> it pissed our dog off to no end. <laughs> you know, you two make a cute couple. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not, not a couple. We're singles. Two singles, yeah. like those individually wrapped slices of cheese that <laughs> are friends. <laughs> Did I pluck a herb there? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, everybody, it's time to eat. Oh, Lord, we thank you for this meal, all your bounty. And we pray that you help Sheldon get back on his rocker. Now, after a moment of silent meditation, I'm going to end with, in Jesus' name, but you two don't feel any obligation to join in. <laughs> Unless, of course, the Holy Spirit moves you. Oh my God, this is the best cobbler I've ever had. It was always Sheldon's favorite. You know what the secret ingredient is? Love. Lard. <laughs> hey, look who's coming. Shh, you'll spook him. <laughs> He's like a baby deer. You gotta let him come to you. <laughs> Ridiculous. Damn it, Sheldon, snap out of it. You're a physicist. You belong at the university doing research, not hiding in your room. You don't hunt, do you? 